Hey, this is Travis. Today we're going to go over BitTensor subnet number 51, Liam. And before we start, none of this is financial advice. Liam is a decentralized GPU compute marketplace. For the layman, this means that customers like AI researchers, video processors, and large data centers, etc., can get access to expensive GPUs without needing to purchase them outright and maintain them. These GPUs can, of course, be used for a variety of use cases, from training AI to media generation to custom AI workflows. On Liam, GPUs are the miners. Miners compete to maintain the infrastructure required to be performant and available for customers. Liam competes with Amazon Web Services and Microsoft Azure. Now, there are many advantages to using Liam over its centralized competitors. It's up to 90% cheaper, there's no need to share your identity, there's no gatekeepers, it's permissionless. You can rent GPUs today, they spin up in seconds. You can pay with a credit card or crypto, and if you pay in crypto, they're currently offering a discount as well. So let's dig into the incentive mechanism to better understand how miners are rewarded. At the time of this video, miners are rewarded based on the following. First, their GPU. Miners are rewarded based on the demand for the GPU that they are providing. So, for example, if a miner is providing a B200, it's rewarded much more than a miner providing an RTX 4090. Miners are rewarded for uptime. Currently, there's a five-day ramp up to get maximum emissions, and if a miner goes down during this five-day period or afterwards, it's reset, so they must have high uptime. And then there's this new idea on the subnet of collateral. So miners must provide collateral in the form of tau to guarantee to renters that the rented machine won't go down while they're using it. Miners forfeit their collateral if their machines go down. So you can see that the subnet is incentivizing high uptime and high performance GPUs. What this means is that customers will get reliable access to GPUs. So software engineers from anywhere and everywhere in the world compete to provide the most reliable access to GPUs. Now, at the time of this recording, top miners on the subnet are making upwards of $4,000 per day from emissions, or 15 tau. So of course, to have a shot at that $4,000 per day, you'll either have to be really good at sourcing cheap cloud compute or bring your own infrastructure and GPUs. Now, on their future roadmap, they are looking to implement a public dashboard for real-time usage and revenue. They are also looking at multi-GPU coordination for advanced AI training. They're going to make better tools for miners. They're looking at confidential compute and containerized workloads as well. Another thing to highlight here is that everything runs on-chain. So payments, rewards, and penalties are all handled by smart contracts. And speaking of smart contracts, they're going to do more integration with EVM. Now, they're currently generating $600 per hour in usage revenue. Liam says that they're projected to generate $11 million in annual revenue over the next 12 months. Now, Liam was founded by Datura, led by Fish. Now, Fish is a very active BitTensor OG. His team has deep experience in GPU infrastructure and on-chain systems. So you may be asking yourself, what is the difference between Shoots, another big GPU-type subnet on BitTensor, what's the difference between Shoots and Liam? Well, I spoke with a miner who has mined both. He said that both subnets are about meeting subnet demand with the right GPU, but Shoots sits a layer higher for the end customer. So Shoots users are deploying applications on top of the Shoots platform, whereas Liam provides customers access directly to the GPUs. So they're not necessarily direct competitors. Now, if you're interested in more from this miner who's mined on both subnets, a link to his YouTube channel is in the description. Now, my thoughts on Liam is that I personally love that they're embodying many of the principles and values involved in cryptocurrencies' as early years, like how there's no KYC, it's permissionless, and it's decentralized. Please understand that this is not financial advice. Valuations within BitTensor are tricky and not as straightforward as purchasing stocks.